okay, so I think it's been two days since I filmed the video, sorry. But I have finally, finally today been able to get my videos off this camera. It's been putting up such a fuss and I don't know why. But I've got it to work, so I'm very glad. So I finished editing a video. I'm about to start editing another one. And once I've edited this one, I'm gonna do my July favorites, June favorites. But it feels really, really good to have got those onto my computer at least. On a completely separate note, is that my phone? This video is gonna have to go on hold. My father just called me to say he might have another number for our killer Sudoku, which we've literally been working on for I think about two weeks now, maybe a bit less, but at least 10 days. So I'm gonna have to go down. So it's also my brother finished it. And I honestly thought it was gonna be impossible. So the fact that he's finished it means that we'll be able to finish it hopefully. So I gotta go and I will finish filming this video either later tonight or tomorrow. Okay, I am back. We think we've got another number, we're not sure. We've put it in very tentatively and I've taken a picture of what it was before, just so we know. And with that, we've managed to eradicate a couple more numbers, so we're feeling pretty confident, but equally that worries us. And it's not like that one number has sprung us forward. Like, sometimes that's how it works in Sudoku. Not with this one. Anyway, what I was going to say is that I need to wash my hair, but it looks surprisingly curly, because as I've mentioned before on this channel, usually the day or two before my wash, all the curls are gone. But the reason why it looks surprisingly curly is because yesterday I was going for a walk with my father and it began to rain. And at first it was just lightly spitting, so I wasn't even wearing my jumper. I was like, oh, it's fine. I like the rain. It's good. By the end, I was wearing my jumper. And it still wasn't like heavy rain, but it was enough to cover my hair and the rest of my body and make me look drenched. But I didn't mind it. It wasn't a bad thing. So it doesn't look great, but it definitely looks better than before the walk. <laughs> I don't know if I'm going to do this now. And I won't do it in this video, if I do do it, I'll do it in tomorrow's video. But I don't know if you remember, a while ago, I made a video of finding a bag of goodies from my past. I'll link it up here if I can find it. And it felt like Christmas, because as I've also mentioned before on this channel, I am very much stuck in the past. So finding little things that I've forgotten about is so amazing to me and it means so much to me. Now, yesterday I was helping my mum find something for my brother whose birthday it was, and she showed me these two boxes that were hidden away where she had kept so many of our things from when we were little and as we were growing up. And she's kept a whole bunch of cards that we gave her over the years. And you know, it was just, insane. And one of the things I saw stick out, which I almost cried when I saw it, was this book I got from my friends when I left Holland. My teacher had put together this beautiful book of all my classmates and they all put a picture, um, like important information like where they lived, a message to me, a favourite memory of me, and then a drawing if they wanted to. And they also, they also sung a song to the music of this pop group I really liked, Gadri, which I think I've also mentioned before and I interviewed them. I speak about it in this video. And I remember having that book when we moved into our second house here. But then when we moved again, I remember not being able to find it and constantly thinking, where is it? And then when we moved here, I remember thinking, I'm sure it wouldn't have come with the Dutch stuff because I'm sure I already had it and I couldn't find it anywhere. And I was really worried that I'd lost it because this book really means a lot to me because it was literally given to me the Friday before we left and we left on a Sunday. So it was my last ever day of school at that school and with those people. Anyway, so it turns out my mum had kept it all this time and I honestly almost cried when I saw it because I was first of all just so relieved that I hadn't lost it. But also just to see it again, I mean, that day, I remember that Friday, it was the craziest day. And I remember what happened was a couple of times I'd been asked to help out with the younger year levels. And I just thought they did that because I was a pretty good student. I worked well with other people. Like, I think I matched the criteria. But it turned out that in that time, instead of having class, they'd learnt this song. And I didn't know this until the very last lesson on the last Friday. And I remember my teacher, I can't remember exactly how it went, but she sort of sat me down at the front of the class on a table and said, look, we've prepared a little something for you as a goodbye. And they started singing this song. And I really didn't want to cry. So what I did to stop myself from crying, because I could feel like, you know, when you feel the, the lump in your throat and just everything's ready to cry, but I really didn't want to. So what I ended up doing was just singing along with the chorus. And that's how I stopped myself from crying. Nowadays, I think I would just let myself cry. Anyway, it was really emotional for me and I remember I stood at the door and like hugged everyone as we were all leaving at the end of the day because unless you've experienced it you can't imagine like even at the time it was just so surreal to me the thought that I wasn't going to see these people again at the time I thought for two years which looking back isn't such a long time but at the same time it's like whoa but equally I knew it wasn't necessarily for two years it could be longer and it was just so crazy and some of those people at the time I figured I was never going to see again so I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to unpack these bags 
now but I'm gonna do it in tomorrow's video because I've already chatted quite a bit so stay tuned for tomorrow it might be split into two videos tomorrow as well but I'm gonna start filming it now because I feel like a little kid waiting for Christmas you know just wanting to open their gifts so that's what I'm gonna go and do sorry for the ramble by the way okay bye see you tomorrow I'm so excited